When you can't make sense of the world today Ask Mr. Jordan to show you the way On the birds and the BS Morning grown-ups and welcome to the birds and the BS where we encourage you to actually take the advice you give your children. Today's letter comes from Lynn in Little Rock. Dear Mr. Jordan, I love ice cream after dinner. On an unrelated note, I get a terrible stomach ache after dinner. My doctor tells me I'm lactose intolerant, but my gut tells me I should stick with Mr. Softy. How can I get my doctor to shut up about liberal almond milk and just make my stomach great again? Lynn, I'm sorry to tell you, but your doctor is an educated woman of science who's telling you the truth. Here, I'll post a few articles on your wall about lactose intolerance and adults. Jordan! Well, it's my legendary friend, Titus Burgess. Thanks for coming to back me up. Um, let's be clear, I'm not here to back you up. I do not do anything from behind. What do you mean? This woman's love for ice cream is unconditional. Woo, woo. Unconditional love is everybody's dream. The worse someone behaves, the more lovable they seem. It's why Sarah C. loved Joffrey, although he was a little shit. And why Siegfried kept his tiger, even after Roy got bit. Unconditional love's a non-stoppable force. It's why Camille Cosby feels no need for a divorce. Wait. You're saying some people are so blinded by love that they're deaf to the facts? 100%! Even if the person lied his way into a lifetime appointment on the Supreme Court? Especially if unconditional love is the greatest love of all. He's relieving a man over a woman because he coaches softball. When you stand behind your party and grin while you get shat on. When you're a miner whose job is on the rocks, but you keep your MAGA hat on Unconditional Like a hooker you don't have to pay Unconditional The harder summer screws you the more you hope they stay Unconditional Love always finds a way Hang on I know that we say unconditional love is this amazing thing but there's a limit right? like when it really hurts us. That's a condition! It's unconditional, like giving thanks in autumn. It's a holy grail of love. An unconditional bottom? Exactly! Unconditional love. You can deconstruct when someone fucks you so hard you can't feel your fucked. When your unconditional love only affects you, there's only so much we can do. But when that jerk you're dating becomes our boyfriend too, our goal should be to hit the poles and all right and screw you. You know, you're right. Unconditional love is a problem. When it forces the rest of us into an abusive relationship we don't want to be in. 49% of you got us in a mess. We gotta clean up. Tell me our country. Sign a pre we did, it's called the Constitution. So you're saying the solution is traditional. Democracy's conditional on your leader not being a dick. Tater! Okay, Lynn, we know you're gonna just keep eating ice cream no matter what your doctor tells you. But keep that shit in your own bathroom, okay? Don't, Don't get, get fucked so hard that you can't feel your fucked. Well, we figured that one out. Now be sure to share, subscribe, and comment. See you next time.